What's up guys, today we will be modeling the scene. The end result might look slightly different, but this is what we're going for. So let's get straight into the modeling. Okay, we're getting straight into it for this one guys. We're not going to delete the default cube. We're actually just going to rename it here. And we're just going to rename it to desk body. And then we are going to hide it for now. Press shift A to add a plane. Just going to scale it up slightly. Next we need to create the wall and I'm obviously using a reference but if you don't have one you can follow along but uh, for now just let's just select the plane go tab into edit mode 2 for edge select and we're gonna select this edge press shift D to duplicate it and then we're gonna press P by selection just to separate that edge and then we're gonna select that object in object mode and in edit mode we're gonna select all and just extrude that in the z-axis and then set origin origin to geometry and the next thing we need to do is we're going to tab into edit mode put a loop cut in here and then put another loop cut in here and what we're going to do is three to select this face g in the x and then selecting this edge going into top view again just moving this edge until we have a nice and straight wall there and you'll notice in the corner here I have my screen cost keys enabled so whatever I do you can follow along so then I'm going to press ctrl R again and I'm going to add a loop cut to round about there and we're going to create that skirting at the bottom here I'm going to press 3 for face select and select all these faces and we're again going to press shift D and P selection bevel these edges so selecting this edge and then shift selecting this edge control B and actually before that let's tab out of edit mode press control A and we want to apply the rotation and the scale and then we can press control B and we can give this a nice bevel for the wall and then we're just going to shade it smooth the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come into this object press tab into edit mode three for face select, select all of them and extrude. We're just going to give them a slight extrusion forward. And then we're going to come into top view here so we can create a better corner. G in the Y and just create nice equilibrium there. And once we have that, we can press 2, select these two sides, control B, give this the slightest of bevels actually first need to select these edges, G in the Z axis, move them down a little bit, select this edge loop, G in the X, ever so slightly, G in the Y, ever so slightly, two and select these edges, not those ones, can actually select that one and give it the slightest of bevel. And I believe that looks quite nice. Right click, shade smooth, auto smooth. And now we have something we can work with, a nice background. We can shade this later. And now we can move on to making the desk. Let's unhide our desk body and we will just select it and move it a little bit more into position from the side view. Let's put it about there and I'll just scale it down a little bit. Scale it in the Z a little bit to about there I think is fine and then we're going to scale it in the Y to about there and I think that is perfect next thing we want to do control A apply the scale tab into edit mode 3 for face select and we want to select these two faces just press I for inset and I think there is about fine X and delete faces and then we're going to go two for f for edge select we're going to select that edge and this edge full select that edge and this edge and full that edge and this edge and full and that edge and this edge and full now we got a bit more of a desk shape and we can actually move it much more into place We'll just press G, 
move it into position here go into the front view and we'll just move this off to the side using Y G in the Y we'll move it up into about there you can just move it in like basically against the wall in the X and I think right there is actually fine you might actually need to go a little bit more backwards and there we have it so next we actually want to start beveling it and creating the drawers etc so we're just going to create a small bevel here selecting all these edges control B and that will create a bevel we actually first want to press control A and apply the scale and then we can press control B and it will apply a smooth bevel bevel to these edges and before we do anything else we put one of the shade smooth and auto smooth and you'll see now it looks really nice want to start on the drawers press 3 for face select and basically want to select this entire face loop insert scale in the X just up to about there and we're going to press shift D P by selection and we are going to isolate this drawer object Control A, scale, and set origin, origin to geometry. And next we're going to put a loop cut in the middle here for both of these. And select both of them, control B, just make them two loop cuts because we're just going to delete this faces. And then in edge select we're going to connect all of these and once we've got our drawers nicely filled up we just want to go to tab into edit mode again three for face select and select these two faces I'm going to press inset we're just going to insert them slightly and extrude along the normal to create that drawer just quickly going to undo this oh, looks like we had the wrong face selected as well just insert again and extrude and that should work fine this time around and there we have the basic drawers and if we come out of that now out of isolation this is what we have so we're going to control a scale make sure everything is applied and we're going to add a bevel modifier on the desk body and shade smooth the angle a little bit and we want to decrease the offset a little bit increase the segments and that looks quite nice you can also put a subdivision surface modifier on and we're just going to link the modifiers there is our desk and our drawers now we need to make the door handles or not the door handles but the drawer handles rather and as well as the legs for the desk after which we're going to enhance our scene using blender kit but we'll get to that in just a moment for the handles we're going to press shift a and add another cube we're going to scale that down quite a lot and then in front view we'll move that into the middle there scale it in the Z a little bit more scale it in the Y or in the X rather and I think that should work quite nice and we'll just move that to the drawer you can press full stop on the numpad to zoom in on the object make sure that we put this right on that drawer not right on it but really close apply the scale into edit mode we're going to add a loop cut there and bevel it to about there three for face select let's just quickly isolate this we're going to select these two faces and we will extrude them until they connect 
with the drawers. Now this can also be applied the scale and the rotation and we'll add bevel modifier decrease that by quite a bit shade smooth we'll add a segment and we'll add a mirror modifier in the Y axis we'll just copy it on there and now we have our desk for the pause we're just going to press shift A and we'll add a cylinder we'll scale that shift Z to make that nice and thin move that into position scale it in the Z rotate it slightly front view here and rotate it slightly as well. Shade smooth and control A, apply the scale, don't apply the rotation because you would need the local axis at some point. Then we're going to press 2 for face select and we are going to scale down this front paw or this front part of the leg or this bottom part of the leg rather. And we are going to move this into position. Scale it local Z axis just want to make sure that it actually touches the ground and I believe that's perfect so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shade it smooth and add a mirror modifier in the Y and in the X and you'll see there we have our four paws and we just need to move this a little bit And there is our desk. So in the next section we will enhance our render and use some render kit assets and also texture and shade and render and all of those things. So stay tuned. Okay so as you might know or not know Blender Kit is actually a free add-on that you can download from GitHub. There's actually a lot of different tutorials on how to install Blender Kit. And once you've installed it, it gives you this panel above here where you have this little eye icon to make to toggle the visibility. And you have the, the assets panel here, and then you have the find materials tab here. Now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna find materials first, shade everything in our scene and then we will bring in assets to enhance the final render. You, this is obviously up to your own interpretation and I would just like to show you how this works. Blender Kit is a free add-on actually, they're not a sponsor of this video but I use them for texturing because most of their textures are for free and for this video I will only use free assets to enhance the final render so anyone doing the tutorial can obviously follow along as well. So let's just go into the Find Materials tab here and I'll type in here wood because obviously for the desk we would like a nice wood material and we're just going to go into the view materials the, uh, view layer there and click the desk body tab into edit mode select all 3 for face select and U smart UV project and that will just make the texture appear a bit more better and we'll choose a nice looking wood for the desk and I went with this uh, kind of Damascus looking wood material because I think it looks quite nice and we're going to choose the exact same material for the drawers tab into edit mode select all three and smart UV project and we will just select this material as well for the drawers okay guys then for the final scene all I did was I added three assets to the scene and then using movement keys I just moved them all around and made sure that I put them all in the right place and you can see that they've all been moved to where they need to be and for the lighting I just added an interior HDRI and an area light and then for the rendering settings I just turned down my exposure limited my max samples to 256 and I made my time lim limit just one minute and then if I come into the front view here this is how the camera angle is set up and you can see this is how our final render looks this is obviously up to your own creativity so make sure that you, you choose carefully and choose the nicest assets that you can so that you can make your render look really nice this is my final result yours might look different but let's hit render and let's see how it looks ok 
Hey guys, I hope you learned something from that. If you did, leave a like, subscribe and comment what you'd like to see next and then we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.